Okay, I will talk about authentication. The simple thing uh, about authentication is uh, how to user get permission to some uh, services. Uh, mostly we know uh, authentication as a password, a user and password. Uh, with user and password, we can get a uh, permission to access something. In my uh, in my opinion, in my job, authentication is more uh, very important because if we don't use any authentication for accessing something, it will affect everyone can access the service and the service uh, will not secure. And uh, as, you, as a human, we can use uh, many methods for uh, authentication. Uh, the first uh, thing, uh, like I said before, we can use uh, fast user and password. But uh, another than that, we can use the fingerprint or we can use uh, iRetina for authentication. And uh, why we need the authentication? Uh, because uh, with authentication, we can uh, manage what people can access and what people uh, uh, cannot access. Let's say if we have uh, many uh, computer or uh, many service and we want just some uh, people with uh, user privilege can access the computer or can access the service. So with authentication, I can manage uh, everyone for you can access this or uh, user uh, other user can access the service another user cannot access the service. I think it's just enough for authentication. Hmm. Okay. All right. Okay. So please, Ami. Okay. Um. Hi, Adnan. Hi, Ami. Okay. Um. I have uh questions, and I need an I need an answer. Um. Okay. Why? Uh. Yeah. Uh. Why in Gmail? Yeah. Most most of the time when I registered yep. uh Gmail account for yep. my client company. Uh, mostly the Gmail system will ask us the phone number to be registered yeah. uh, and uh, sending the authentic, authentic code to our uh, phone number. Yeah. Yeah. In this case, if, uh, if in the future we are no longer using the that phone number, the phone number that we have registered into the Gmail, how we can um, access again our company Gmail? Because I think uh, it will difficult to... Yeah. Yeah. And it's not really necessary for have uh, like double protections on our company gmail because everyone need to access the gmail everyone yep. in the company i mean mm. in this case yeah yeah to get the data yeah, yeah. do you have any like uh, solutions for this yeah uh i know your problem uh, your problem first thing you must use uh, gmail uh, like uh, personal uh, personal gmail like uh, username at gmail.com is right yes yeah it's right it's uh if you uh read uh, google or uh, uh any other documentation about uh, gmail if you use gmail for uh many people i mean uh, the user uh, the gmail uh, not only accessed uh, by one people, 
it's not right thing. <laughs> it's not right thing because mm -hmm. uh, mostly one uh, user uh, Gmail just for uh, one uh, people. But I know in Indonesian, <laughs> in Indonesia, uh, many uh, company use the use uh, method uh, as you say uh, earlier. Yeah. Uh, my recommendation, my recommendation, uh, if you uh, no longer access uh, the, no, the, pan num the phone number again, it's almost possible, almost, eh, almost impossible to get a uh, user the Gmail access again if you forget the password because uh if you enable the two fa to fa with uh, the password and uh otp and and you uh have no access to the phone number i think it's impossible uh to get the gmail back but yeah uh, my opinion it's my just it's my own, uh, opinion if you use uh, a method like you said before, I recommend you use uh, 2FA, but not use uh, phone number. Use the authenticator like... Uh, uh, I know, you know, the apps. The authentic yeah, authentic yeah, the apps, the authenticator app. app. So yeah. you can install too many uh, phone and you can access the Gmail uh, from uh, many device. Okay, but the problem in here, because uh, we create the Gmail for our mm -hmm. client company, and yeah. then the email will be accessed for um, their their uh, their employees, uh, which is yeah. uh, from the tax department, from legal, and then from accounting. Uh, and then, uh, because our, uh, because uh, every times we we want to register the, uh, Gmail, the Google mm -hmm. system always asks us to put the phone number on the, table on the form, so yeah. we cannot like um we don't have a chance to install the applications, and in the other hand it will be more complicated for my clients to install the apps to every people um the every for for every user uh mobile phone or every user device because in some moment maybe mm -hmm. now my clients uh becoming our clients so we can mm -hmm. still handle it because uh, we registered their company Gmail with our phone number, but it, uh -huh. maybe in the future when they have terminated our service, yeah. um, they will move to another consulting company. So yeah. uh, the another consulting company cannot access the Gmail if they they doesn't know the password. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's the problems. So. Yeah. Okay. Is there any, like, can we, sorry, like, can we uh, just remove the authentic authentic uh, verifications from the system? So uh, everyone, like, because uh, I have uh, I have the experience before uh, Google uh, update their applications, mm -hmm. update their system, we can still uh, register the Gmail without putting the, our phone number in the form mm. so they doesn't need to to send the otp code into our uh into our device our phone number every mm. time we want to access the gmail but okay. after the google update the system they change the method maybe for the security they uh, applies uh the 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 con the term and conditions and we must to put the phone number for uh verification yep okay uh i get your problem uh, the simple why 
to remove the phone number it's okay but first thing if you uh first if uh, first if you register uh google will always ask you the phone number the phone number uh, because uh, google uh uh mm -hmm. need to know if you as a human not a bot uh, or like a machine uh, register to the uh, gmail system mm -hmm. but after you registered uh, the uh, gmail and you got the uh, OTP number from uh, Gmail, and after that you can remove the number. You can remove the number and change the uh, the number with uh, another email. You can change the number with another email. Like uh, like me, I have many email. I have uh, many email like for register uh, this app or another app. I use uh, many email. Uh, I got, uh, I was uh, on your pro uh, like uh, your problem. Uh, if I need a Gmail, I need a new number sometime because uh, the old number cannot register again because it'll uh, so many time to use uh register to gmail so uh my solution my sub solution after i got the problem after i register gmail i remove the the phone number and i change um, the authentication to another email but but in here but in here i just want to uh i just want we can access the gmail without um doing a verification double verification like um google system before they upgrade their system can we do it like we we can we remove all the like double verification system like we remove the the phone number and then we remove the gmail too because i'm not sure my client uh -huh. will make to gmail uh like yeah. uh, the Gmail from, uh, uh, the Gmail as a backup. I, 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 I'm not sure my client will, will do it. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Uh, I think it's still. Uh, you can remove the the to FA because my experience. Uh, right now I have one Gmail, another one Gmail, and I can still log in without any to to FA. Just use my Gmail address and the password. I think it's still okay if you remove the two FA. But in some case, uh, Google uh prohibited the, the action. Like you cannot remove the uh, phone number, and if you remove the phone number, you must change another number. Ah, so yeah, yeah, I have the case like that. So yeah maybe you have any solutions for that so maybe you have like a hacks no because Break for now if, if, if i don't use a phone number uh i must use to app uh, another to app system like i said before maybe i use the uh, application or i use a uh, uh, phone like i I log in, log it to a uh, phone, and if I log uh, to another device like my computer, uh, Google will ask my uh, confirmation uh, and add the Gmail application in my phone. There is no mm -hmm. chance for uh, remove the the number and not change the the to FA authentication that's okay. my experience okay all right okay Hami uh here you can sum up okay um because you put in study case maybe it can you can root it down okay into like a summary rough summary in here okay uh authentificator is like authentication sorry authentication is like um 
a security security method to protect uh, the application or like the system from mm. or the or to filter someone who can access the data from the system okay yeah and there are um yes uh, because most most of the yeah because during these conversations mostly we talk about the authentication uh, method in the gmail so mm -hmm. um in the gmail there is a uh, two ways mm -hmm. three ways to to have like a double security with the authentications method the first one by putting the uh by putting the phone number into the gmail so when every time uh, every time someone who will access the account they need to uh to give uh, like they need to click the verification code or to input the verification code that has been sent to their phone number and the second method we can use the applications in our mobile phone yeah we can we can install mm -hmm. the application in our mobile phone it's called uh, authenticator apps and using that apps okay. we can doing uh, automatic authenticator just by input the numbers that appear in the applications and the third method is authenticator by authentications by email yeah that's oh the point that i catch for our conversation oh.